Tennessee Titans lost to uh, the Tennessee Titans lost to the Buffalo Bills 13 to 12 in a ugly, watchable, close, dramatic, low-scoring game 13 to 12. Only one touchdown. This was all about the kick. Most of the offense was from the kickers because he only had one touchdown in this game with a combined 25 points. And I was I was hugely wrong with my uh, prediction for this game. I predicted that the Titans were going to win a decent close, a decent close, uh, dramatic, a decent close game, twenty one to sixteen. Mariota would throw for two touchdowns, and uh, Henry would run for over eighty yards and run for one touchdown. And Henry didn't come close to scoring a touchdown. He had zero touchdowns. He didn't run for over eighty yards. He had. He wasn't contained, but he didn't have that um, great, didn't run for over 80 yards like I predicted he would. I know he ran for, there was, recall right, he ran for, I think it's like 56 yards, so not a good, not a great game, but somewhat success, somewhat successful given that he was running against a Bills defense that really wanted to contain him, but not highly successful. Mariota, he didn't throw two touchdown passes, the closest he ever got. He didn't throw for two touchdown passes. He threw for zero, or Oreo, zero. And, and closest he ever came to throwing a touchdown pass was uh, that throw to Williams, which was on the money, and Williams couldn't finish the catch for a valid reason because he was still running with the ball, and it's not like he got exactly the best angle, but still can't deny that Mario had put it where it needed to be, and Williams wasn't able to finish the job. That's the closest the Titans came to um, scoring a touchdown along with um, the special teams where it really, really looked like the Titans were going to score a touchdown until, of course, the Bills defender was in the um, made a great play um, tackling the returner from behind, and is it, which is a huge play because if he doesn't make that play, no doubt more than likely the Titans are going to score a needed touchdown with a special, with a punt return. And uh, Titans didn't even get close to 21 points and they didn't score any touchdowns. They lost 13 to 12 with all their points scored with field goals kicked by suck up. And he made all of them, all four of them and Titans all defense. They did not, they, um, they didn't have, and the Titans didn't win at 21 to 16. They didn't win at all. They lost 13 to 12. So I wasn't even close to the ballpark for the score. I guess I could say I was close to the ballpark of what the Bills would have because I was three points off. But I was really, really far off the Titans because I was nine points off. And I think when you get to, I think if you can get if you're like eight or higher points off as far as and. Uh, uh, I think I would call. I think most persons would agree that's not ballpark as far as football goes, and others along with other sports. So I was somewhat was close in that ballpark because I mean three points off for the Bills, but I was not anywhere in the ballpark. For, I wasn't in the ballpark for the Titans. That was exactly nine points off. And uh, I was also wrong about the Titans' defense. They would get two interceptions. They only had one. They had had a great interception with a. Um, pass that was thrown and then got tipped up and then his defender was in the right spot at the right time, finished it off, ended up catching it and returning it for a short distance. So I was wrong. I was so I was still wrong about because the Titans didn't have two interceptions. They had the Titans defense had one interception and that came in the fourth. And uh this was a game that the Bills dominated from start to finish and they looked more like the they were they were one and three before this game, but they look more like the three and one team than the Titans being the three and one team because Titans um, Bills defense forced three turnovers. Titans defense only forced one turnover. Bills led for most of this game. They scored the one touchdown, which was needed most because this was a low scoring game and they were leading for most of this game. The only, the only time that the Titans led in this game was really, really short, and that was late in the game after that interception. They drove far, and they got a field goal, so finally they're leading this game, but it won't be for long because the Bills end up getting the ball 
for the next drive, and the Titans' defense isn't able to stop them, and the Bills are able to continue to move the ball, move the ball, eat up clock, move the ball, eat up clock, and then kick that game-winning field goal. So this was like over, this was like over 90, well, I don't know the exact percent, but no doubt it's like over 90%, over 90% that the Bills led mostly in this game. They outplayed the Titans from start to finish. They look more like the three and one team and the Titans being the three and one team and built Titans played like a one and three team. So not exact, not astounded at all that they lost 13 to 12. It's extremely challenging to win games in the end to, to win football games. And when you lose that turnover battle and you don't, and the other team scores a touchdown and they, uh, and that the other team doesn't score a, t- if a team loses the turnover stat by more than two and they also they also don't score a single touchdown while the other team scores a touchdown. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be really damn hard to win games, whether it's high school, football, whether it's high school, college, pro, etc. It's hard with those kind of stats when this other team it not only wins the turnover stat by more than two turn by two turnovers, or it could be more, but also they're the ones that that same team also is the one that scores the only touchdown of the game along with having that's what's needed to win in these low-scoring games, and the Bills did pretty much exactly what was needed to win a low-scoring game, 13-12. to 12. And so it's great. It's a, I mean, I wasn't, I'm not astounded that the Bills won this game, but I am astounded that the Bills look like, for their defense, they played like the 2000, Ra- Raven, 2000 Ravens, and I wasn't anticipating that at all. I wasn't anticipating that, was I anticipating the Bills would be winning this game for winning this game for most would win this besides just winning this game that they would be winning for most of the game before it ended along with I wasn't anticip- wasn't foreseen or anticipating that the Bills would uh be forced would be winning that turnover stat by more than two turnovers I wasn't anticipating that the Bills would be able to hold the Titans to zero touchdowns and uh and that's exactly what happened. The Bills played great and won thirteen to twelve. they they were undeniably the better team. And always offense, defense, special teams. The only time that the Bills really got outplayed was the turnover. That the turnover, the interception, which was the classic kind of rookie mistake. And uh by Allen well okay, that was he you could say it's partially his fault, but he was still responsible for putting it where there's kind of like a double coverage. So, and um, there's that also the failed field goal attempt in which the Titans were able to effectively defend before um, before the half ended, and uh, any and any of the drives where the Titans were able to move the ball. I mean, yeah, they only kicked field goals, but they still were, they were able to effectively. Okay, no. The only the one drive where the Titans not were able to move the ball and kick the field goal to actually finally take the lead in the game. So there's only three undeniably situations in this game where the Titans outplayed the Bills. Everything else was the Bills outplaying the Titans in a thirteen to twelve defeat for the Titans. And so again, I wasn't. Wouldn't have been astounding that the, if the Bills won, but I wasn't foreseeing how it hap- how it to be happening this way at all. It was a wasn't just a, it wasn't just a loss. It was a damn frustrating loss because Titans they finally were they were losing for most of this game, and then they finally lead late in this game for the first time ever after kicking that field goal to lead twelve to ten. But it was futile because the Titans defense unlike the last three games, didn't defend when needed, and the Bills were able to continue to move that ball, including on a third down with a missed tackle, and the Bills were able to get more first downs and eat up the clock and then kick the game-winning field goal with time expiring. And um, even if, I know even if the Titans had gotten that tackle and stopped them on third down, maybe it's possibly that the Bills would have um, still gone for it on fourth down, mainly because, Possibly mainly because the Titans, they never, Bill's defense was able to continually um, hold them out of the end zone. But 
okay, more than likely, I would imagine that the Bills, they had three timeouts that they would kick, they would, um, that they would punt the ball because if they don't punt the ball, they're giving the Titans a short field. And even if more than likely they're not going to get the end zone, they would still be able to likely increase their lead from a one point lead to a, um, to a four point lead. So then the Bills wouldn't be able to have the situation of they can kick a game winning field goal. They would need a touchdown, and in this game, a touchdown happened only once, so the Bills would need, they would be having a big gamble. So now to think about it, yeah, more than likely the Bills would have punted the ball mainly because it would have been more beneficial because it would have been most likely the Titans would be able to take advantage of that, eat up clock, eat up clock, eat up clock, then kick the, uh, if they were able to get first downs, but even not able to get first downs, they would still be able to get, they would still be able to kick a field goal to increase the lead from one to, f- to from one to four, and it would have been challenging. It wouldn't have been easy for the Bills to get a touchdown since this is a game where after that first touchdown, the Bills' points were field goal. Bills weren't able to get another touchdown after that first and only touchdown that they had, so it would have been a big gamble, and. So yeah, obviously my prediction was hugely, hugely wrong. I didn't get any. Th- the only thing I really got right was it was being that it would be a that it was a decent close game, but but really it was more of a decent close ugly game because that's exactly what it was. Because the Titans had three turnovers, Bills had one turnover. Titans um, repeatedly had opportunities to um, score touchdowns and they didn't. And they couldn't capitalize because the Bills' defense effectively defending, keeping holding them to four field goals, including after that great momentum, possibly a momentum changer with that great uh, punt return, still didn't matter because the Bills were still able to hold the Titans to a field goal. So undeniably, Bills, Bills were were the better team, and it showed on the field, including for the fact that. They won that turnover stat. They were leading for most of the game. They scored the only touchdown. And with that um, turnover that they got, they capitalized. Compared to the Titans, the Titans capitalized off a turnover with three points. How did the Bills capitalize off that turnover? On um, what well, It was the first drive of the Titans. With that fumble created, they scored a touchdown. That's a huge difference. That, that's a magnitude of difference as far as why the Bills won this game and not the Titans now. Even if both, even with, even because if the Bill, if the Titans had uh, capitalized off that turnover by scoring a touchdown, including with Williams catching that ball, possibly the Titans win this game. If the Titans, or if, um, because that was pretty much, that was a momentum changer and mostly their best chance to score a touchdown was that throw to Williams, who wasn't able to finish the catch. Titans played like the one and three team. Bills played like the three and one team, and it showed on the field for most of the entire game. So kudos to the Bills. They look like they get they rebound after a awful defeat to the Packers, which was a shutout, which is one of the worst way, which is one of the biggest or worst embarrassments that can happen for in in football, including the NFL, is to get shut out. And after getting shut out, team is usually going to. Pl- a team will play with a lot of pride to rebound and the bills did in the best way possible winning. They went back to Buffalo and they won a low scoring, close watchable, ugly game, 13 to 12. So the winning streak for the Titans ended, but I'm still confident even with this, Lost it almost seemed like a replay to the Dolphins game because they pretty much made most of the same mistakes in some ways, in some ways more because in this in some ways more because in that game I know they had multiple the Titans defense was able to get multiple turnovers so in other ways this was worse than the Dolphins game because they were able because unlike that Dolphins game they were able to lead late in this game in the fourth quarter and they had an opportunity to win and they didn't finish. They didn't finish with the defense defending when needed. 
So in ways, this is similar to that loss to the Dolphins. In other ways, it's worse than the Dolphins game, mainly because they lost that turnover stat. They weren't able to score touchdowns at all. They were able to score touchdowns in that Dolphins game, and they led in that game, no doubt, for maybe for they led in that Dolphins game possibly maybe for more time than they did in the uh, game versus the Bills. So in ways, it was like a replay versus the Dolphins, and in other ways, it was worse than the Dolphins, including with losing the turnover stat by two, to be exact. And next game is the Ravens, and they recently lost what was a exciting low, also an exciting what was also a close decent was also a close low scoring game, and also great. It went to overtime, and the Browns were able to defeat the Ravens in overtime. So it'll be a pretty damn interesting game when the Titans uh, play the Ravens, who both of them are, are had crushing frustrating defeats by three points exactly and they're both are going to be looking to rebound and i'm optimistic even with this loss that the titans can still get these mistakes corrected play better not play like a one and three team play like a the three play like the team that won three consecutive games and still won the afc south still still win the afc south yeah still win the afc south and still win 11 games can't wait to see the next Titans game to see how they respond after this frustrating, harrowing, frustrating, harrowing, gut-punching, soul-crushing defeat.